Hello, welcome back to another Amaichu Customs video. And today we are viewing set number 76159. The set's name is Joker's Trike Chase. It has four minifigures, uh, three builds, and it costs about $49.99. It has 440 pieces, and I bought this set specifically because of the Batmobile. Um, I thought it looked really cool, and I felt that I wanted to have one. Um, another great plus one is mid-sized legs on uh, Robin, as you can see right there, and the new Harley Quinn figure. Uh, I think that that looks really cool. I know that the head and hair already came out, but it's great to get the full body. Um, obviously, along with this motorcycle piece, I had never had one before, and I just thought it looked really cool. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into the speed build. Okay, this is the finished product, uh, or otherwise 440 pieces later. We have our extra pieces right there in the middle, including an extra batarang that's just kind of off to the side. We have this nice Robin cycle. Uh, this, this piece came out in about 2014, I think. Uh, I think it was back with the Age of Ultron sets for Avengers. It's really cool, I, I like it. Um, I totally wasn't expecting parts of it with studs, but it is. This is a very new piece to me. So yeah, this is Robin's motorcycle. Now, the main reason why I bought this LEGO set, it's the Batmobile. I'm pretty sure it's similar to the Arkham game Batmobiles, which is a, a video game line for older people, yet I've, I've played some of the games and they're really fun. Um, I'm just really bad at video games. Uh, they use this new to 2019 printed piece. It has the bat symbol on a uh, four by four kind of dish piece. I thought that was really cool. It's been around for a while. I, I've gotten a few sets. You might see it later in one of my later videos. Um, I like the interior. It's uh, nice and cozy. I like the way that they did the like headrest. And also I like the use of this piece. I've only had one other piece of this and it was like the 2010 uh, General Grievous' Starfighter. It has this really cool, this this use, this is a helicopter, like, windshield piece, and it's used as sort of hubcaps, I guess. Uh, not hubcaps, but it, yeah. It, it's supposed to cover the tires, and also it's used as the trunk. Uh, and it's got this, you know, removable engine, I guess, which uses these really cool goblet pieces in silver, and these weird silver... I think it's supposed to represent some sort of engine, and I'm supposed, it's, I guess it's supposed to connect to these, which is just sort of an exhaust vent, I guess. Uh, so yeah, it looks really cool. It also has this, uh, this weird sticker right here uh, that kind of just shows a bunch of cables. You can't really see it when it's covered up, but it, it, it looks cool. I like these top lights as well. I like that you can angle them, or you can just put them up straight. So yeah, this is the Batmobile. They, uh... They did a really good job with this. I, I really enjoyed this because it looks cool and it's something that I can relate to. Uh, this is the Joker's trike, as they call it. It's kind of a wee wacky build, but it's really cool. It uses a lot of these, uh, I don't really know what the name of these pieces are, but they attach onto normal clips and they they look like armor, I guess. Uh, they're used, there's probably like five of them on this thing. Um, there were a lot of stickers and I think the most were on the Batmobile, but this had a good, I think this had four of them. And they're, you know, right here, right here, here, and here. I mean, this build looks really cool. I like the teeth in the front. Uh, this is a different tire than these front two. This one looks cool. I mean, overall, it looks like a goofy build, but yet it, it's really, like, scary in a way. But not entirely. One of the best parts about it is when you move it, it's like uh, chattering teeth. 
like it's going to eat up your uh, kids, I guess. Um, it's really cool. It has this piece in there that lifts that up as you drive it. I think that that's a really cool addition because that's one of Joker's gimmicks, especially in the Lego games. Um, so yeah, this is the vehicles and we have our four minifigure bags there. Now, there is this big old box of capes, which I'll get into before I show you guys some minifigures. So yeah, let's get onto those. This is the first minifigure. It's obviously going to be Batman, of course, due to the fact that this set is completely based off of him. So this is the same Batman that they've used uh, for the past, I guess, year now. This is the same Batman as the, you know, this is the 2019 Batman as well. It has some nice back printing. Um, they finally fixed the face printing. It used to be really dark and not look like Batman at all, and it's a little too bright, but it's still better than what we had before. This is him with his smiling face, and this is him with his uh, kind of serious face. He comes with this sort of wrench tool, I guess, uh, to fix the Batmobile if it needs help, and a battering. He also comes with another one, but that's sort of a spare piece. Uh, he has no leg printing in this soft, spongy cape. Uh, it's also the same cowl they've been using since 2015 for that new 52 Batman. It's hard plastic, uh... Yeah, everybody knows it pretty much. So yeah, this is the Batman. Um, I guess he's cool, but he's he's decently normal, so it's nothing out of the blue. All right, so the next figure is Damian Wayne Robin. He is the exact same as he was last year, along with Batman back there, except he has mid-sized legs, which are short enough to be like a child's, except they bend and you can actually have them sit down or pose. Um, I think it's cool, but... Um, I wish they'd change up the printing. It's still not bad printing. I like the uh, the torso print. That's the front print, and this is his back printing. Uh, he has no leg printing, which I didn't really expect because this is a relatively new piece. But I do know that the first time it was released, it did have leg printing. Uh, no arm printing, nothing like that. This nice green, uh, yellow, spongy cape that is kind of long, um, and he has two faces along with this spiky hair that's been used for years and years now. So this is his angry face when he's getting serious and fighting the Joker, I guess, in this case. Or Harley Quinn, depending on whoever he's engaging in attack first. So yeah, he also comes with this really cool staff that's just used by two, and as a lot of kids my age call them, lightsaber hilts. Back when we were kids, that's the pieces they used, and they still use them today. And this uh, flat silver or light gray rod. So yeah, this is Damian Wayne Robin. All right. So this is the Joker. This is also the same Joker that they used last year in the 2019 wave. Uh, I don't really notice any differences. He's got some back printing and, uh, I mean, they've been using this hairpiece for almost 10 years now, maybe even. Uh, he's got an angry or upset face and he has his, uh, well, as expected, crazy smiling face with his yellow teeth, which is kind of pointed at or laughed at, I guess with the vehicle. So yeah, he has light gray hands, uh, light green arms instead of dark green as the, or the normal green that you'd find, and uh, uh, the vest, I guess. That's pretty much it for the Joker. He's been the same for, uh, I guess this is the second year in a row. So yeah, this is the Joker. Last but not least is Harley Quinn. She has this really cool hammer that is probably one of the best I've ever seen them do. She comes with a, uh, uh, a reused head and hair piece, but it still looks really good with the second head face or second face as kind of her, you know, putting out her tongue. Maybe she's mad or something like that. Um, she has this really cool torso print with this uh, black and red, I guess, uh, top on with a jacket covering it, and it says Harley on the back, which is also really cool. Um, she has a black arm and a red arm, kind of to show the difference, I guess, and then she also has. Uh, really nicely printed uh, legs. I'm not sure if those are supposed to be rollerblades or just sneakers uh, on the, you know, on the foot there, but it could be. I also like the fact that they tried printing on the skin tone right there. So yeah, this is Harley Quinn. She's a really cool figure and a lot better than the ones in the past, in my opinion. So yeah, let's move on. So yeah, that just about wraps up the video. I thought that it was a lot of fun to build and a lot of fun to film, especially. Um, I do know that these new 2020 or summer 2020 wave comes with special capes for Batman, which I will be reviewing and showing in a later video. Uh, I know it might be a bummer if you haven't seen them yet, but they are really cool and I would recommend uh, watching that video when it comes out. 
Um, overall, I think this is a really good set. Uh, if I were to rate it out of 10, I'd rate it a 8.5. Uh, the minifigures in ways are a little bit of a letdown, minus Harley Quinn, but there's still some really great pieces in use. And this Batmobile is just amazing. And I think a lot of kids would have fun because it's, it's really smooth along with the Joker trike and it has chopping teeth. So yeah, I would, I would recommend buying this set. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video and stay safe and have a great day. Goodbye.